as catholics we joyfully welcome people of all faiths and backgrounds to attend our liturgy and participate in our worship but there are few guidelines that might be helpful for a visitor to be conscious of these guidelines are intended to help you understand how to best respect the sacredness of the catholic mass and respect the beliefs of others first of all do not forget to make the sign of the cross with holy water on entering and leaving the church it is an act of respect and reverence for the lord it is also a reminder of our baptism touch your forehead heart left shoulder and right shoulder while saying in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit and then say amen moving on to the next one it is essentially important to stop talking or having little chats with your old friend when you happen to run into them you can always save the conversation after the mass during the liturgy those around you are praying and listening intently to the voice of god the word of god is being read and the priest offers his insight and prayers all these are said as a community during the mass these are all the things that the faithful wish to hear but if you are talking it is a constant disturbance to the people around you it will also disrupt the ability of those around you to focus on god keep your head straight only looking at the lord the next thing is one of the major issue using your mobile phones during mass it is really hard in today's culture to stop looking at your phone even for 5 minutes but you are in a church this is more than just a building it is a sacred place set apart for for the worship of god most people even check their phones when gospel is read if all you can do is using your phone during worship then you might as well drop the idea of attending mass a typical mass timing is 30 minutes to 45 minutes or maybe an hour spare the time for god and your texts and calls can wait but with any means of emergency you can leave the room for calls and come back silently continuing in the mass putting your phone down on silent will also help to avoid embarrassing disruptions during the quieter parts of the mass in god's house it is best that snacks be avoided until the mass is finished eating can be very disturbing when others are trying to maintain a prayerful mindset especially if you are taking children with you try to avoid bringing snacks and teach them the importance of the mass this is an exception if you are taking babies with you i know you can teach babies they would be crying running or hungry and doing random things but you can take them out during those times remember to always maintain silence inside the church some people even just stay where they are during these times be a part of worship but don't be a reason for disturbance i'm not going to ignore the fact that we are in 21st century but when you are going to church or attending mass forget the guidelines to how to dress properly women especially you the bible has something to say about it in timothy chapter 2 verse 9 I also want the women to dress properly adorning themselves not with elaborate hairstyles or gold or pearls or expensive clothes here this verse not only tells about about how to dress for church but also at all times i don't want to go further and explain it all because most people know this i want to highlight the purpose that we are going to church for so we are going to the presence of god We know that in many important events there is somewhat of a dress code. A Catholic mass is also one of those events. Just remember you are going into the presence of the Holy Eucharist that is the real body and blood of our savior is present before you. Pay attention to how you dress. Your clothes don't have to be fancy but they should be modest and respectful of that atmosphere of prayer. Wait until the priest exits before you leave the mass. 
you will probably see people start to exit and get their things ready immediately following communion but that doesn't mean it is time to go the correct protocol is to wait until the priest proce- processes out of the church in entering and leaving church genu flecked toward the tabernacle christ is present in the tabernacle with the touch of our right knee to the floor we adore our lord and god in the eucharist if someone is physically unable to genuflect then bow nodding your head instead of a proper bow whenever bowing is called for in the mass whether the congregation is incensed or in the middle of the creed it is always a profound bow which just means that you bow from the waist the only time that we are told to bow our head only is when the three divine persons are named together and at the names of Jesus of the blessed virgin mary and of the saint in whose in whose honor the mass is being celebrated it is a big no you'll see priests assume the orans position that is hands extended to their side a few times it is a posture that in- indicates that he is praying on our behalf and it is used as a direction only, only for the priest the people are never directed to pray with their hands ex- extended walking around at the sign of peace it is not only disturbing to others but is also illicit to walk around during sign of peace it is appropriate that each person offer the sign of peace only to those who are nearest and in a very sober manner another thing we do mindlessly is sometimes not saying amen before receiving communion this is a huge mistake i want you to know this when the priest elevates the host and says the body and the blood of christ you had better not be silent have respect and deep reverence for the eucharist and tell amen this one is the most important thing a believer must do make sure, make sure to fast at least 1 hour prior to receiving communion why because what we are approaching is a huge banquet for our soul and it would just make no sense to stuff ourselves in advance the tradition of eucharist fasting is ancient passed through time with more or less strict rules today it is enough to fast at least 1 hour before the communion i hope this video will help you understand how to behave in church better thanks for watching